but I have indicated to you that uh, we uh, have frameworks in which we are working. So I, I don't uh, know of any problem that you have in your mind about meeting, but I, we've been meeting several times. We've seen numerous times on this channel how Rwanda President Paul Kagame never hesitates to put Western news outlets in their place. Especially when they send their correspondents with an agenda, then he shuts them down completely. President Paul Kagame was in Qatar for an economic forum between Rwanda and Qatar. On board was a Bloomberg correspondent Jennifer Zabasaja, who was tasked with the role of asking the questions. However, no sooner than the discussion kicked off did we see Rwanda president expect one question that the journalist couldn't wait to ask because of the number of times it kept recurring in different conversations. And that is the question on human rights. This is how Rwanda president tackled Jennifer Zabasaja. Hi, call me Louis. This is my spot. Louis spot. And, and we know, I mean, you mentioned some of the partners that Rwanda is working with. I think it's, it's all clear to everyone uh, just how much of a tourism and investment uh, destination that Rwanda has become. You mentioned the Qatar Airways partnership. Uh, there was also the renewed partnership with the Premier League team, PSG. Some of your critics, though, say that a lot of these partnerships are just to mask some of the human rights concerns in the country. I mean, what, what do you say to that? Well, I would have been surprised if you didn't bring that up because that's uh, the talking point of uh, every... But this is discussion is about uh, economic partnerships, it's about growth, it's about... So let me tell you briefly what we are about. Uh, I mentioned that... Uh, At this point, President Kagame acts kind and spends the next two minutes describing the achievements made as a medicine for the human rights question. However, the journalist is not convinced and does not stop there. So President Kagame in his authority tells her this. So really this is uh, the medicine for um, answering the human rights question. Is it the medicine though? Because we've heard from a number of countries talk about just how concerned they are about um, the stability of the region in particular when it comes to Rwanda and Congo and the human rights situation. So, so. It, is it, is it the medicine? I mean, what is it that you're actually doing for the local communities there to, to better the situation and not spill out into an all-out war? It's the medicine because uh, we may not uh, be able to stop uh, problems of instability uh, anywhere in the world. They have different causes and they have to be addressed differently. Uh, as you see across the world, in actual fact, uh, yeah. but you are talking about Rwanda or our region. I, I, I don't think you imagine that uh, the source of instability of the region, uh, whether it is Sudan or Somalia or beyond, like in Central African Republic or terrorism we had in Mozambique, is all coming from Rwanda. I don't think so. But for the problems between uh, uh, Rwanda and uh, DRC, uh, that has a process that is uh, addressing that. Where is the process at right now? The process uh, is uh, led by Angola uh, and also the East African region. Uh, we have two processes, one of Nairobi, another of Rwanda in Angola in Angola, mm -hmm. and these discussions are going on. In fact, the African Union itself is uh, dealing with the matter, uh, and the UN, which has been there for the last 20 years, mm -hmm. uh, you would imagine maybe with the amount of money spent there and the time spent, mm -hmm. we would actually not be having problems uh, since uh, uh, the UN is the leader in uh, trying to help to right. create peace. Are you willing to meet with President Felix Shikidi about the, the conflict that's happening? We have met many times over that, and we shall continue. But I have indicated to you that uh, we 
uh, have frameworks in which we are working. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't uh, know of any problem that you have in your mind about a meeting, but if we've been meeting several times. Do you see the conflict coming to an end um, soon? I mean, Rwanda is going to have elections next year. I mean, is, is this something that you're committed to seeing end while you're still in office? I'm wondering if you're imagining that if there is a, a, a problem like that involving countries or people and for uh, different sorts of causes, that there is one person that has the key to addressing the issue. But uh, maybe one person or one country is part of a solution but is not the solution, but they will contribute to that. So I think Maybe we can uh, continue with the, 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 the discussion in the context of why we are here and then we uh, leave the matters to be handled by those who are already handling it. So, what do you all think? Show your thoughts in the comment section below. Otherwise, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment if you have any other thing to say and share. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are new and want more videos like this. Until next time. Peace out.